So the Bucks escaped with a win tonight in New York City against the Knicks despite Jalen Brunson's career high night with 44 points. Shout out to him. Julius Randle was funny. Here's his stat line. Uh, but I want to talk about the Bucks and what Giannis said a few days ago where when he said there is no panic mode. Have you ever seen the scene from Spongebob? He made a funny joke about that. You know, when, he, when he's running in his head and he goes crazy, that's how he feels sometimes. And he is right. There should be no panic mode. We're halfway through the season barely. A lot of injuries have happened. And when your franchise player says this, it really comes with them last year or the year before where the Warriors weren't, you know, on the greatest, on the greatest of stretches in their careers and in their seasons. Uh, you know, Steph and Raymond and Clay were calm and said we're gonna be fine and when you know hear it from them even though you are skeptical and you want to be like no nah, man you, you are not seeing what we are seeing but they know and they'll be fine and when last year you know the Warriors started off really hard and were great to start the year and then they were hovering about 500 for the second half of the season and even before that a little bit so when you put it into that perspective the Bucks started off really hard right they were like 10 and 0 13 and 0 I'm not sure how many wins they had to start the year now they're like 26 and 14 sitting in the third place so that puts it into perspective they started off really hard getting kind of cold a lot of injuries have happened and everything has you know been a little rougher for the Bucks lately but there are some real issues that the Bucks face as they are on average the oldest team in the league by pretty much by a lot because when you look at the average you know ages around the teams they are the only team that's on average over 28 years old they are 30 years old on average which is pretty crazy and when when you watch them you can see the lack of you know, you can see it injury-wise, the amounts of injuries they have so far endured. Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton has been out even though he came back for a bit. You got Giannis in and out the lineup sometimes. And you have a bunch of older guys trying to, you know, fit in and be the same they were last year. You can also see it in their athleticism because, well, a lot of young teams and a lot of teams just have a lot more athleticism than them. And that's a problem. So let's talk about the injuries first because Drew Holiday has been banged up a little bit. He has missed 12 games and has been limited in some to a minute restriction and Chris Middleton is of course out once again he's missed the last 12 games or so and we are still not sure when he will be coming back he's on the road trip with them they are now on a four game road trip and he's with them but I don't think he'll come back during the road trip maybe when they come back home he could come back he's been out with you know dealing with the knee injury and he came back for like three four games has been out since and Giannis sits out some games but he should be fine injury wise but he does sit out from time to time and the lack of consistent game time will for sure be a problem and you know it could come uh, before the playoffs during the playoffs whenever the time is there could be a problem with them just not playing enough games together and the other problems that are st strictly about their you know play style and play how they play is the three-point shooting and the turnovers this year they are 20th in three-point shooting in the league percentage wise and last year for example they have been fifth so that's a huge difference they are taking more trees and making less trees <laughs> so that's a problem and over the last uh, 10 games so we can put it into perspective especially due to Yanis's comments that were due to the recent struggles they have been having over the last 10 games the, the struggles are even more apparent they are the third third worst shooting team in the league percentage wise but when you look at the volume it's you would say they're the worst three-point shooting team in the league by far because they are taking 10 more threes than memphis who has the lowest three-point percentage over the last 10 games or so so that's a problem and they are also tooling the ball over too much as i said because when you look at the assists per game and turnovers per game in the last 10 they are uh, not that far away they have five more assists per average than their turnovers they are the most turnover prone team in the league over these last 10 games and on a big sample size in 15 games they are sixth worst fifth most attempted on three point line and the turnovers and assists are poor nonetheless over the course of the year they have not been as bad but you know five, 15 games is a huge sample size for these turnovers and when you compare it once again to last year they were pretty solid in turnovers and whether it is due to the poor shooting they've been having because a lot of people are just not shooting well Brook Lopez has improved Grayson Allen has stayed the same but everyone else has kind of declined or I mean they've missed Chris Middleton of course for shooting and Drew Holiday in and out the lineup so there are some real issues there and Giannis has to force you know more against more people because 
you know, they can put more bodies into him if there are there are no real threats out from the outside when you have to just guard Grayson Allen and that's it, right? That's pretty much it right now because Brook Lopez doesn't take that many of them and you can contest his three-pointers when you run at him because he shoots a little, you know, slower release than, you know, the other guys are just not knocked down the rest of right now. And like I said last year, for example, they were 12 in turnovers per game. So the signs are not the greatest. And they might need a spark, but can they even make a trade? Because, I mean, their first draft pick they can trade, if I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I'm right, is the 2029 first round pick, which is, well, uh, far away. And teams, of course, you know, would take a swing at that maybe, but they could 100% get better offers from other teams. They could get earlier picks better players maybe even so you might have to trade Grayson Allen maybe you might have to trade all those young guys you have when you're the oldest team in the league and you're gonna maybe have to overpay if you want to make a trade and somebody like Bojan Bogdanovic is the biggest commodity I would say maybe Miles Turner but I don't think you know they need a Miles Turner with Brook Lopez or who is that Jordan Clarkson maybe but I'm not sure if he fixes their problem he would 100% get more shot creation which they also need for sure but I'm not sure if he's better than Bojan Bogdanovic. I mean, he's not better than Bojan Bogdanovic for sure, but I mean, he would be fine also for the back. They 100% could use even more shot creation, even when Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday come back. So that's the trade market for them is going to be very weird and very limited because they have the 2029 first round pick first trade and we'll just have to wait and see what they do. They could 100% make a trade, maybe wait for the buyout market, could get somebody on the buyout market, Some who knows what will be there because the trade market right now is so unpredictable and we have a lot of buyers not that many sellers right because uh, there are just too many prices and the trade market is kind of fucked up but in the end my point is Yanis is still right about you know them being fine and them you know not being in panic mode but these issues are some bad signs especially over these last 15 games when you think about it that's yeah we are halfway through the season and the 15 games are pretty much half of the half so there these that's a pretty large sample size for this league of course the biggest thing is they need to get healthy they need to get Chris Middleton going they need to get Drew Holiday fully healthy and the honest needs to stay healthy if they are healthy they will always be dangerous because they're a good team though nonetheless and they could get hot the shooters are still there just not shooting well enough and it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be very interesting what the bucks will do and how will they look after the deadline and what they are gonna be what do you think will the bucks figure it out will figure it out yeah that's a weird question will will they make a trade will they you know are these problems real concerning what do you think let me know do they need a spark? Leave a comment in there, baby. Like, subscribe. See you all tomorrow.